Hey, Derek. Hey, it's great to see you on this Friday, Friday, Friday. Um, another Friday, another, another Friday. Friday. Here it comes. We're, we are drawing to a close, my friend. We are. We are. We I are think we've got getting close. Two, two, two weeks. weeks left, I think. Yeah, because yeah, I think we go to we go to eleven weeks because it gets to the first weekend of the tournament. Yeah. Uh, and then, actually, do we get three weeks? I don't know, but it's like the first yeah, next week, week of November. We like get next week, there's... then we get conference tournament yes. weekend, and then we yeah. get the first week of the of the tournament. So we yeah. get three more weeks. Yep. So okay, it should be good. And with that, let us roll through the hives collective intelligence. Yeah. Collective. Yeah. Collective. So again, if you recall, we're 500. We're 40, 40 and 40 through week eight. Uh, and uh, and I don't know that we're going to be much more than 40% this week because we're... <laughs> you have we're such confidence. Kind of interesting <laughs> numbers here. Yeah. All yeah. right. So let's roll with the, the so let's roll. one. So I went, uh, so I, I sent them to you based yep. on Hive consensus, starting with the highest, Hope. Hope, Adrian. Adrian, I, they were undefeated. Did they just lose this week? I think they lost this week. I thought they did. I, Let us check. I think that's their first loss, which makes this game a little less exciting and intriguing. But Which also, um, which also just totally, you know, they totally let me down. Because no 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 they won. Oh, did they win? Adrian they won? won. They beat Alma. They play Adrian. They're still undefeated. Okay. Yeah, or still. Yeah, they're still undefeated. Okay. For this even season, yeah. Um, Adrian has one loss. Hope has one loss. Hope has one loss. Adrian's undefeated. Adrian is undefeatable. Well, they're, they're not still... undefeatable, but they are. Let me just confirm. Adrian was 11 0 and 2. Oh, no, they lost 11 1 they and lost. 2. They right, lost they lost. That's right. They but lost it was mid-week. tight. Ten, two, th- uh, 3 2. So okay. it wasn't like they, it was a blowout of any sort or anything right. like that. So. Well, and that's, what, you know, the intriguing part of this going into it was Adrian was 11 0 and 2, mm-hmm. and, and they had a total of six wins, you know, the last yeah. four years. And they're putting together a phenomenal season. Yeah. So they finally got a loss under the belt. So the question then becomes, is this the beginning of the end, quote unquote, yeah. or or are they going to bounce back and you know right the ship? And they're going to have to do that against Hope, who, yeah, only has one loss and is right. playing yeah. very well. Yeah. Um, so the Hive there went 95% Hope, 5% draw. And Adrian is not going to have a yeah. snowball's chance of winning this game apparently yeah i i I mean i think it's clear hope is the yeah it's a different level right like let's yeah i I mean adrian for as great of a season as they're having they are emerging right from from a pretty low place but they're having an outstanding season but i don't know if they have it for hope hope yeah, I mean it, it. It'll be interesting. I mean they, they'll put up a they'll put up a fight. I think you know they're not going to want to, you know they, they're not going to want to let this magical season go to waste. Correct. And by go to waste, I mean you know start losing the next game, the next game, the next. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're and they have a taste of winning now. So I think this is still going to be a very competitive game. I would give it to hope, but yeah, um, yeah it'll be close. It'll be good. I'm actually going to watch the Adrian Trine game that they lost okay. and see what that's like. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, game two. I'm sorry to report game two. Don't, don't. Let's just skip over this one and okay. you know, lie to me. Just lie to me. I can, I can How lie to you. the hive. So Mount Union, Ohio Northern. Um, Damn all of you. Yeah, I can't lie. 84% Ohio Northern. 11% Man, it's Mount It's not even Union. close. Like, what do they think? It's not. It's not close. I think we should start drug testing our participants because I'm starting <laughs> to think that there might be a, a pretty liberal use of them in so, this pick. So taking taking the heart out of it, does Mount Union have a shot at Ohio Northern? I think they do have a shot because I think they're really good defensively. 
Okay. Um, the question is, can will they be comfortable for just long stretches of dealing with Ohio Northern's pressure? And mm-hmm. I'm I'm not sure. They've done it before. John Carroll uh, comes to mind, right? They've done it before. I just don't know. Ohio Northern is again a, might be at a different level. Um, I think I think where Ohio Northern becomes um, beatable or susceptible is against teams that can score goals. Yeah, and and if you're saying the Mountain Union is going to be able to bend on defense but not break but right. yeah, that's yeah. not telling me they're going to score any goals they, <laughs> they can score i mean they've proven that okay. they could put they can okay. get on the attack they're re- lightning fast on the attack i will say that mm-hmm. like when they get okay. forward they don't they don't slow it down they're i think and that's the way they play right or is that we get forward we get forward fast and we go to mm-hmm. goal and i think that's that's where they're susceptible now like i okay. said I think Ohio Northern is at home really capable. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So 84% for Ohio Northern. Yeah. It's but probably... damn everybody. Damn all yeah. of you 84 percenters. I hate all of you. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're one of them. You picked Ohio Northern. No, I did not. I did. <laughs> I even left a note for you. I did not. I was the one I did not. I'm like, damn it. I can't. I think I even uh, picked like three one or something two one two uh, nothing. I can't. Remember. I don't know. I didn't. I, I didn't even look to be I honest with you. Uh, <laughs> all right, the, the next, next one, one surprises me big time. Yeah, I would have thought. Yeah, Washington and Lee hosting Virginia Wesleyan. Yeah, Washington and Lee seventy six percent. That's a lot. That's, That's a, a lot. big number. That's a lot. Seventy six to Washington and Lee. Virginia 11, Wesleyan, like eleven percent. Virginia, fourteen percent draw. Yeah, I'm not too sure of that one. That one, that one, and the next one, quite frankly, really do astonish. Oh yeah, me. the other one surprised me too. Yeah, the Washington. I, I, I'm. I can only speculate that people are thinking that Washington and Lee. They, I mean, they have lost on. The forever. Yeah, that they're back, back on the track. Yeah. <laughs> And there's no love for Virginia, Virginia Wesleyan because they don't have the recent history of being yeah. good enough. Yeah, um, they're that, but like, they're like that good. They're like that good, very good team. They're the very you know, you know like they're just at yeah. that level. That you can't say that they are very, very good, right? Like they're, right, like they're but they're just, having a great. They're correct. having a great year. They're correct, having a great correct. year. Correct. Uh, I mean, what? what what are they? They're eleven, two, and three, or something like yeah, that. I, I mean, so. they're having an excellent year. Washington Lee hasn't lost, but they've also had some yeah. tough draws. Tough draws. You know, they're not putting away the teams that you would they hope they would put away. And yeah. even like what were they just was it Roanoke they just tied or they tied Roanoke they tied I Roanoke they, like they, I thought they tied Shen, was it Shenandoah Shenandoah yeah they tied somebody else yeah yeah so I don't know I think this seems high seventy six percent is high I, I would have thought draw would have gotten yeah. much more love in this game yeah I agree. Uh, at only fourteen percent I thought maybe the draw would have taken some of that seventy six percent um so I mean good luck to them yeah seventy six percent. Um, the next one also hugely surprising in my mind. I don't, I don't see this one at all. Like really, like unless people, unless because I didn't put Texas after Trinity, maybe they're thinking Connecticut. <laughs> Connecticut, which then, then this is still wrong because, <laughs> <laughs> because then it should be higher. Even I higher. should be hundred, the first hundred percenter <laughs> relegation down. <laughs> Trinity. Um, so, so yeah, Trinity, Texas, eleven percent. Yeah, that Col- is... Colorado College, seventy six percent, and a draw fourteen. I'm a fan of Colorado. They play very well. Yes. And they're very yeah. organized, and I think they do have something special when they go forward. I do think mm-hmm. they score goals. That said, so does Trinity. <laughs> uh, so does Trin. Exactly. In, I'm like in buckets. In buckets, yes. Yeah. 
And and I, I don't know. I I mean, I okay. Trinity, eleven percent of the hive, right? Go for Trinity. I would have at least expected Colorado fifty percent, and then the rest go to draw. Right, right. Like that. There's the chance for a draw. I just so uh, Trinity is one, two, three, four people. Goal wise, goal production wise. No, no, no. Oh. Four people pick Trinity. Oh, four people pick Trinity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four people pick Trinity. One nothing. Three two. One nothing. Yeah. Three so two. It's tight. <laughs> two three twos and two one nothings. And uh, Colorado. Everybody's on board for Colorado. One nothing. Two nothing. Two nothing. Three one. A couple three ones. Uh, I don't know. I, I this one surprised me. I was I I was surprised to see this. Uh, this is going to be a great game to watch, though. It is. It is right? most definitely. This is going to be a fun one. Well, there's a lot at stake too. Like I said, I think I think both teams. These are the kinds of games where a team that is serious really wants to win to show how serious they are, right? And I think both of them. Colorado has the advantage of being at home and all that stuff, but Trinity is no less there and thinking we get this one. It, yeah. it, it sends a message to a lot of people. So, I, uh, And I don't know why maybe Trinity doesn't play the greatest schedule. I mean, is that why there's not a lot yeah, of love there? I mean, they, they, yeah. they tied their first two games of the season and then they haven't lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, know? I think like, I do. I do think that's some of it, right? Like, I don't think, I think Colorado came east and and played a I, I forget who they played. Was it Northern? I forget who they um they played Ohio Northern, Emory, Christopher Newport, lost to Mary mm-hmm. Washington. And I think and and they did they did well, right? They I mean they went one right. one and two. And Trinity, I don't think, did anything similar to that. They they tied out of the gate, but then they've just right. been playing their local teams. They went right. to California, or Cal, Cal Cal Lutheran came to them. So yeah, I don't think their their schedule is was as tough to start. It, it's it's not, but still, it's yeah. Trinity. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Always, I agree. And they're always good. And, and they're always they're... good. That's it. Yeah. They are not. They are not. They are not bad. Right. And 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 I think, I think when all is said and done, both of them are very very competitive in the top top twenty five, without a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah. But so that's a Sunday other, game. I don't know. Yeah. That's that's a that's Sunday gonna, game. By the way, it's going to be a fun one. I like that yeah. one. Um. All right. All right. Next one, John Carroll at Wilmington. So this is the you know the Mountain Union Ohio Northern was one two John Carroll Wilmington was was uh, three four yeah. Yeah. Um, I, John Carroll seventy percent Wilmington eight a draw twenty two I have issues with John Carroll at seventy I think I think it's it depends on who shows up again mm-hmm. who which John Carroll shows up I'm not. I don't want to say I'm not convinced in in Wilmington. I'm just not sure they've played the games, the gauntlet type games that um, that John Carroll has. Like I think their schedule might have been a little bit easier, and I think it explains last year. Like as a result of last year, last year I thought was disastrous for them. But you know they right. You look at um, John Carroll. I mean they go. Kenyon, Carnegie Mellon, Ohio Wesleyan, Lycoming, Case, Calvin. Right. And they have to face in conference Mount Union. Who else? And now, you know, they'll play Wilmington. And then at the end of the season, they play Ohio Northern. So their their schedule is pretty, is pretty. That's a good schedule. Lady. Yeah. And I yeah, that's a good schedule. Wilmington has this type no. of schedule. And so I, that's where I'm, that's where my doubt lies. That's where my doubt lies. Okay. So. All right. And I have no idea. I don't remember who I picked already. So 
<laughs> you can tell. <laughs> it's like you told me. You texted me. Hey, don't forget your picks. Yeah. And I literally like, okay, pop it open. Mount Union win. Done. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. So this is my secret strategy, though, um, uh-huh. to make sure that you stay below me in the standings. I'm putting Mountain Union in there every week. <laughs> you know, absolutely no. Like, oh, it's <laughs> no way he's gonna he's gonna not right. pick them. Right. Funny. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that game in there. Five of the ten games are Mountain <laughs> Union. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at that. Just so happens. Look right. at these five games Mountain Union is playing. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, funny. another interesting one. Which another interesting one. I buy. I buy. I'd buy on this one. I would be okay. like, okay, I can take these odds. Yeah. Stevens Lebanon Valley for the Mac Freedom, right? Freedom Commonwealth Freedom. Yeah. I think it's Freedom Pretty Lead. Uh, Stevens thirty percent. Lebanon Valley fifty seven percent. Draw fourteen. I'm buying this as well. Stevens. Yeah hasn't unconvincing proven they yeah. haven't proven themselves yet yeah. this year they were much they were much more successful last year yeah this year they're they're still good yeah. um they're they're not and i'm surprised they're not as good as they were last year but they're not doing what they did last year yeah, yeah. um uh, so again, i'll take I i'll take lebanon at home i say it i i say it a lot but it it to me it's like the consistency of play, right? Like, can yeah. you consistently game in, game out, at least deliver some semblance of what you're trying to do. And I'm not sure that Stevens has done that this year. I think a little bit up, a little bit down. I just, so. Um, yeah. And then I, I'm pretty sure I picked, Le- I'm not sure who I picked, but. <laughs> I will say Lebanon Valley, you know, the first things I think of, first of all, Stevens is, is turf, right? Like their, their field is turf. Right. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's great. Yeah, yeah. What a great urban city field to have right there overlooking Hoboken and everything else. But it's turf. Lebanon Valley, beautiful grass, grass field. That people in the know, or maybe not in the know, they're making things up. Always say that they they keep it a little bit longer to mm-hmm. trip up teams. And so mm-hmm. I know Stevens likes to move the ball. So I don't know if that's a complicating factor for them that it's going to be on long grass. Uh, You've got Lebanon. Too. Well, I'm going to offend some. I know I'm going to get an email from somebody or a text from somebody because I picked Lebanon. Sorry, I'm a I'm big fan of I'm, the, one of their midfielders. I'm a huge fan of so um, Adam Barakal. I just he's great, great. I think right. a great midfielder. Um, but sorry for picking Lebanon. <laughs> well, you and the you and the consensus. Yes, I I'm all a consensus kind of guy. Which means Stevens is going to win. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I, I would take the, I would suffer the indignation of of being low on the totem pole again this week if Stevens won. Like I, I'm okay. With, I would be okay with that. Okay. And Mount Union. And Mount Union won. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, yeah. Geneva. Geneva. Yeah. And Waynesburg. So I get the feeling this is. I get the feeling people don't know a lot about teams that you start to see the draws go up. <laughs> people are like, ah, I don't know these teams. It's going to be a draw. So this week we've got Geneva. Who? What did I say about Geneva? They were eleven zero and three. Yeah, I don't know. Did they? Did they play this week? Do we know? I didn't look. I, know. I was I traveling didn't look either. Uh, because they were 11 on three, hadn't given up a goal in their last 10 games. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Did they give up a goal this week? They're playing Waynesburg. And again, I knew nothing about Waynesburg yeah. other than apparently their football team played in the first televised football game. Which is significant and, and impactful in terms of picking who's going to win. Yeah. Geneva, where are you? Uh, they tied. So they gave up a goal. They tied 1-1 on Wednesday against Chatham. 
Okay. Pittsburgh. Okay. And uh, they were actually – they were winning that game. And then I think they I actually actually shot them. They I, think I, I think I picked Geneva just because they, they – I mean, they're one of the two or three teams in the pack that consistently is at the top. And Waynesburg, I'm not so sure of. And I do think the draws are, I have no idea who these teams are. And yeah. we're just going to pick a, a draw. So, so, Like you said, yeah. it's a safe bet. It's a safe bet. Um, you've got, yeah, you've got Geneva winning yeah. this game. As does, I didn't give the numbers, as does 57%. 57% yeah. Geneva, 8% Waynesburg, yeah. 35% draw. draw. So that's where you're, we're starting to see the draws tick up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, 35% is the highest we've seen so far. Yeah. Um, the next game, Same. I think a lot of people yeah. don't know these teams all that well yeah. either. Moravian and Juniata. Yeah. Draw 46%. 50%. Which is the high. Which is the which is the high. And Juni Autumn are rating yeah. each 27, 27 percent yeah. each. Yep. So that's for the that's that's for the that's a big landmark game this weekend um, for those two teams. Uh, probably for the number one seed. Yeah. Um, and yet forty six percent draw. So again, I think that's just an issue if people don't know these teams too well and, and why one would be better than the other. Yeah. Uh, so that's interesting. Yeah. I... The, and they're at Waynesburg, right? Number two is home. Correct? Yeah, Waynesburg. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is a. T- I will say it is a tough one. I, I, I tried to go back and watch a little. Like, I. It's not enough. I haven't watched enough. I don't have context. You know, that's right. Kind of like, like that's why I like to watch teams multiple times. But uh, I, this is yeah, and cool. and and you, you get the. I mean, this is Geneva's a better team. Yeah. On paper. Uh, they're going to get more interest, and then somebody, you know, might throw a draw in there if they don't know too much yeah. about them. I think with Juniata and Moravian, they're similar, similar records. So on paper, yeah. they're fairly similar. Yeah. So this this isn't surprising to see that it's yeah. draw twenty seven yeah. twenty seven yeah. for the win for each team. This is a big deal too. This is a big game, landmark game. Oh, it's huge, 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 game. huge repercussions to it. I think this is the number one seed right yeah. here. The winner of this game gets number one. I think. One, yeah. I will watch um, this one again just because I started watching Juniata three years ago, four years ago, when they got the new coach, and it was like it was pain to watch. Like you just realize, and what he's done in the last four or since since he became the head coach is remarkable. So, and it's good to see. I love seeing that the success come their way. So, yeah, they're they're playing well. They've got uh, they got a couple of really fast strikers who yeah. like to outrun you yeah uh, this would be a good game I, I i think a draw is reasonable but i wouldn't yeah. be surprised if one of these teams wins you know it stakes it stakes their claim yeah uh game nine this is also a draw but that kind of makes sense because it's the nescac they seem to tie each other a lot Con College and Williams. So Con's at thirty-eight, Williams at twenty-two, draw at forty-one. Yeah. That that is so I I think I was one of the draw because I was just like, it is just going to be a classic Nezcat game and there's gonna be no winner. So the with the top four or five, even I'll go maybe six or seven teams deep. A draw is a safe bet mm-hmm. when any of those top seven top teams play teams each other. Play. Yep. A draw is a safe bet, but with that said, absolutely a win is on the cards. Yeah. Williams yeah. can beat Con, yes. Con can beat Williams, yes. Yeah. But a draw is a safe bet. And that yeah. goes with Amherst and Tufts and Middlebury yep. and yep. Yep. you know whoever else is in there. It, a yep. draw is a safe bet. You know, if you if if you said you know, gun to head, yeah. what's the outcome? You're gonna say draw. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that one of them isn't gonna win. Yep. I can. So not a surprise here. This next this last one surprises one, me. It's a tough one. I I don't remember what I put for this one. WPI. 
Coast Guard. This is a huge game. I think this is for the one seed in the, the what is that, the New Mac? No, not New Mac. It's a New Mac. It's New Mac, yeah. Yeah, the New Mac. Oh, Babson won? Yeah, because Babson is number one. Right. Coast Guard, right, I think, Coast number Guard. two. WPI yeah. is on the outs looking in right now. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, which is surprising because they were the one seed last year. Yep. Um, WPI 35%. So this is a must win game. Yeah. Right. And I guess the consensus is they're going to win 35% WPI, which isn't overwhelming, but it is, is what we're saying. Uh, Coast Guard 28 draw 27. I went with, I think I picked, well, first of all, Playing at Coast Guard on the turf. And Coast Guard is just so, f- this year, like it's their physicality, their speed is leading to goals. And I, I don't know if WPI is up to up to their level to com- combat that away, right? Mm-hmm. Like. No, I, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure WPI can compete with Coast Guard on this one, honestly. So WPI picked up points um, this week. They beat Clark yeah. midweek 2-1. Coast Guard did not play. So where does that put... Where does that... Where did I put this game then? So the standings for the new Mac. WPI, one, two, three, four, five, six. WPI is in sixth right now with Wheaton right behind him. With a game in hand, though. Yeah. Wheaton. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge game. Um, Again, it's WPI's, in a lot of respects, WPI's season is on the line right here. It, it, it kind of is. Yeah. And I guess I guess that's why we're all jumping on the WPI bandwagon. Yeah. Well, not really. I mean, it's 35%, but. Yeah. Um, so there you have it. I mean, that's the 10 games. Yeah. Uh, wow. And so I think I will get 25 points guaranteed. Yeah, you're good for 25? Either that or 15. That's usually my number, you know, so, I got a number so, of putts, I, you know, I'm a good long putter. So I'm, 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 I'm thinking that I'll get, I'll get 25, but I might even do better and get 15. So last week I felt good about my picks for like the first time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, you know where, what? I, and look I, where it ended up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I like I was like actually looking forward to seeing the results. I'm like, I you know, I'm I'm like, you know, I feel good about my picks this week. I think I'm on to something. I think I, I got get simple yet. coach. I'm what gonna get, leave him behind. He's gonna eat my dust. I get it. What did I get? Fifteen points last week, I think. <laughs> like, I don't know anything. No, it's so not. So yeah, I mean, it was like bad. I, said, I think people have bookies who calculate this stuff. That's how they get the points. That's the only I way. I had 25 I points. I had 25 points last week. Um, and you know, and, and I think I was all excited for last week because I thought I was onto something in the first game, the Friday night game, I nailed. So I had 15 points. Yeah. I'm oh, like, see, I knew no. it. I knew it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yes, I know it. I've got this. Week you went down. to bed like, yeah, baby, I got this. Yes. I'm like 80 points coming up. <laughs> I'm hitting them all. Uh, and then, no, I didn't. No. I didn't and then at nothing. all. And then, at the and then end, nothing. Yeah. So, so we got, so I talked to my guy. And then we also got a, a, a comment in the pool on the odds of, of uh, getting all 10 games right. Really? Oh, I'm interested. Mm-hmm. What are my chances of getting all 10 right, all 10 scored? Not right? scored. Let's just talk about oh, the games first. Games, yep. First game. Can you pick 10? At, can you go 10 out of 10? Right. And the odds are 1 in 59,000. <laughs> 
I was literally about to say, what is it, like 1 in 40? <laughs> You've That's, got a 1 in 59,000 chance. But that only gets you 50 points, correct? Yeah. When, right? So that doesn't do, you do want, me a hill do, of beans right now. I'll take 50 points. Do you points, want the score? But, it, but the scores... So it's got to be my, millions, one so, in millions. So my guy, well, my guy that I talked to, um, I'm going to trust that he did this right. Cause I can't, I can't yeah. argue with them. And I said, I said <laughs> to him, like, huh? <laughs> I know I said to him for score, let's just assume that there's no more than three goals per team. Cause it yeah. could be, it could be, you know, yeah, seven, yeah, nothing. Yeah, it could be, seven, it could be yeah, unlimited. Yeah. I said, yeah. so for calculation purposes, let's assume that it's either, you know, the highest score is 3-3. Yeah. Three, three. There can't be more yeah. than six goals in the game. Yeah. or and, and only three for one team. It can't be 5-1. Yeah. It has yeah, to be 3-3. Yeah. Three, three. So um, the number he came up with, you want to get all 10 games right and nail the score 10 times? What, what do you think? <laughs> like I said. You said millions. Yeah, it's got to be because, because, like I said, from I was going to say like 1 in 40, 1 in 50 to pick all 10 games. So now, and now that that's 53,000, I'm thinking it has got to be 1 in, it's got to be lottery chances, right? Like, so 1, one in 1 in 1, 1 trillion, <laughs> nine, 99 billion. Five hundred eleven million six hundred twenty-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-eight. You know, and I'm that gonna, assumes I'm going to argue with those numbers. I think that gonna, is... are you going to argue? That I think they're off a little. They're going to, and that is, and that the assumption there is that there's an equally equally weighted chance of it being three-two versus two-three. Yeah. And or oh, you know, yeah, three yeah, yeah, three yeah, yeah, versus yeah, three yeah. nothing, which yeah. which I don't think it is. I yeah. think those odds even get exponentially higher, higher because correct. the odds of it being three inverted three are not right? the same yeah. as as three nothing. Yeah. So this that number that one trillion number assumes that it's an equally weighted chance of three three happening as zero zero happening. Um, and that's not true. So you're looking at you're not, looking at astronomical odds. It gets, it's not going to happen. It gets harder the higher the number. The yeah. higher the number of goals in a game, it gets it gets exponentially harder to pick that. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, can you send me those numbers? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm not there kidding. You go. I was there like, oh, it. it's got to be like one in forty to pick one in forty, one in fifty, like. Oh, that's great. Well, it's funny. It's funny you're thinking that because I also got a note. Um, Oh, it's not. Oh, it was, it was a chat. Somebody said to me, I still think there's another Duke out there that you were thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking um, of, I think speaking it's of does it next week? It's Mary next Washington, week. The Virginia, Washington, Mary Washington, yeah, Mary on Washington Wednesday, against or Thursday, Virginia. 30th, the 30th, yeah. Wednesday. Mary Washington goes to uh, Virginia. So I will tease you this game. You guys, everybody can start doing their research. I am planning on, and it might not stay in the pool, but I am planning on putting in the pool next week. Friday's game, Trine plays at Indiana. Indiana. They've done it. Indiana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they played they play in the last couple of years. Yeah. yeah. But and I, so I, for, I, but, I have so, a trine hat because I was like, that is awesome. I love seeing it, by the way. Don't get me wrong. I love I love seeing right. those things that happen. So so um, there is no I mean, like there's an Indiana University of Pennsylvania. That's yeah. Division two. That's not the school I'm talking about. No. So when you when you this see is, on the pool, trine versus Indiana, like the seven stars some... on there, the Yeagley <laughs> right. yeah, clan. Right. Yeah. right. It's not. Yeah. Don't. Don't think there's some uh, random Division Three Indiana University. Indiana that, uh... School of Mining. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not it. Indiana, Indiana Wesleyan, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so oh, wow. um, no. That's going to be The cool. University, Indiana. Yeah, the Hoosiers. Indiana University, the Hoosiers. Yeah. The Hoosiers are hosting Trine next week. So I think I've, I've, I got to finish looking at the games. 
uh, for next week, but I think that might be my Friday game. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm game for that. All right. There you go. All right, brother. This was fantastic. All right. Again, thank you for Good shattering luck. all of my hopes and dreams around selecting all games, all scores. Thank you for doing that. Burying it, you putting it to rest once and for all. The delusion it, that I could do that just one time around. <laughs> it can be done. Yeah. I'm not saying there's not a chance. There is so a chance. So you say there's a chance, right? <laughs> yeah. So you say there's a chance. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's not going to happen this week because I didn't really put much thought into it. And I didn't know okay. the odds. So now that I know okay. the odds, I can really pick accordingly. Well, I think you should just go for the, you know, the um, the one in 59,000 odds to start. Yeah. <laughs> instead, of, instead of the tr one trillion. One in trillion odds, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very well, brother. All right. Have a wonderful talk weekend, to you soon. and we will talk you soon. Too. Sounds good. Uh, where am I? <laughs>